And he starts us off with 3.23 EP2 patch just dropped not too long ago. And we're going straight into the patch notes. On the features and gameplay under the location category, they made an update to green zones. It says green zones around unlawful locations should no longer warn about crime stats. Under the AI category, it says creature movement polish pass. And under gameplay, it says Moby Glass and Map UI Polish. It says interior map updates, improved zone to zone multi point path routing, implemented precursor for transit system based routing, lerp transition when navigating between zone hosts, increased waypoint arrival distance, as well as the incremental route update distance. Showroom labels are now displayed in the minimap. Fixed arrow offset issue on lens minimap. Added a new exclusion tag that can be applied to zone where the interior map should not be displayed. Remove all screen nav point markers outside of the ones contained in a route. With this comes a few bug fixes as well. The fix is an issue where AI can now be seen floating off the ground at multiple locations. They fix an issue where the text in the journal is not displaying until the mouse is hovering over it. They fix an issue where track contracts do not have identifying symbols to show track status. They fix an issue where various vehicle SDF field do not fully encompass vehicle geometry resulting in shield holes. They fix an issue where ground vehicles do not have functional steering. The fixing issue where ships become listed as stored with no destination location or retrieval option after server recovery until another ship is claimed or delivered. The fixing issue where water splashes doesn't always trigger when a ship or place of debris hits water for the first time. The fixing issue where outer space has underwater filter applied to all audio. To fix an issue where green zones around unlawful locations should no longer warn about crime stats, which we mentioned earlier. To fix an issue where prone characters do not detect the slope correctly if it was too steep, even if it was within the slope limit. To fix an issue where prone characters have broken ground detection on planets. With this is also eight client crashes, three server crashes, and two deadlock fixes. Along with this, they also have arena commander updates. The first one here says streaming. It says streaming has been enabled across all arena commander. This technology previously exclusive to the persistent universe allowed us to stream in only what is needed in arena. This change will allow us to streamline our location pointing to utilize references to locations rather than copies meaning if the PU updates, so will Arena Commander. Additionally, streaming will see performance improvements across select maps as we continue to convert them and take the full advantage of streaming over the next few patches. They have a few updates for experimental mode, says Grab Royale. It says embark on a high speed mayhem in thrilling new game mode, Grab Royale. Engage in intense vehicular combat across diverse maps. Master your grab vehicle to outmaneuver foes and seize victory in gravity defying battle arena. That sounds exciting. They also have some new map updates. Miner's Lament has been added for all flight modes. Skyscraper has been added to Classic Race. Kaplan Circuit has been added to Classic Race. Dunlow Derby has been added to Classic Race. Lerva Outskirts and Stanton Pyro Jump Point have been both added as well to Classic Race. They made some updates to systems and balances. It says character customization. Arena Commander will now utilize a personal character from the Persistent Universe across all game modes. Gun Rush. They said they updated Gun Rush weapon set. Pirate Swarm updated. It says the javelins in the UAE response fleet are under routine maintenance. To ensure we keep the Pirate Swarm at bay, the Bango class carrier flagship will now host the F8 lightning squadron as a part of the response fleet against the stolen pirate idris initially i thought this was going to be the um, rsi polaris but it turns out they're actually just going to be dropping the bangle um what a bummer out honestly i'm i'm do hope i do hope that we, we see the polaris very soon but uh, we'll see if we'll see it in uh during the may event um free flight event 
um but we'll we'll see we'll see what cig does okay so next it says team balance adjustment it says after using the previous patches to experiment with different team balancing configurations we have landed on a simplified version where squads will only be separated in cases of extreme team imbalance for fair play in addition we've added a new team balance step to the pre-game which will give players more time to connect before the team balance takes effect they also have some miscellaneous updates as well it says scoring ui has been converted from flash to building blocks hit marker and damage indicators against and from a friendly should no longer appear when friendly fire is disabled players can now adjust settings on spawn screens to allow their ships to be multi-crewed publicly or squad only racing scoreboard now displays three decimal places in the display times players can now switch between master mode and ammo during pre-game after utilizing the join friend function you should now match cycle into the same game mode you joined rather than the one you had selected before joining just to let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next video